In this video demonstration, we will show you how to set up the uh, expert for the uh, DOE analysis using Modex 3D. So uh, to run a, a DOE analysis, first you need to have a successful run as the initial condition. So uh, you need to do the uh, traditional way of setting up a uh, project and uh, run a successful run to uh, gather enough information. After that, we can start to run the DOE analysis based on this original initial run. So uh, first, let's create a new run. So here, if you have DOE analysis license, you will see this expert run. So click it, and it will ask you what initial run to be based on. Here, we select the first run as the initial run to be based on. So uh, normally you will start to import mesh, select material, and determine processing condition. But uh, right now, since we have a starting run as the base run, if we click next, it will directly go into DOE analysis dialog box. So here you no longer need to enter in all those information. You will just directly go to DOE analysis. So here it's trying to create a new round called round 22. So it's based on the round one. So next one is called to input all the necessary information. So here the first thing to enter is the quality factor. The quality is the one that you need to control for your product. So say here, we want to control the overall warpage. So we like to select the uh, final total displacement. So we want to uh, minimize this total displacement. So uh, for each of the uh, quality factor, you can either choose the smaller the better, larger the better, or if you have a certain target value, you can choose nominal the best, or if it's a distribution, you can choose uniform the best. Here, because we want to make sure that the uh, displacements to be as small as possible, so we choose smaller the better. And right now, in this version, Modex 3D supports only one quality factor. So here, the weighting percentage is 100. So after determining this uh, quality factor, we go to control factor. The control factor is the parameters that we can play with when designing experiments. So here, we can select uh, almost all the possible tunable parameters inside our uh, software. So here, for example, we like to choose packing time. So the packing time will be the, uh, the uh, one of the control factors. And not only you can choose these uh, control factors, with uh, quantified values, you can choose different uh, uh, mesh or material also to compare. So if we select mesh or material, they will postulate the possible material to be chosen. So here is the material. So you can choose between different materials. One thing you need to notice is the number of levels. Number of levels, which means the uh, control factor value to be high or to be low, because we want to know where the packing time, is it higher the better or lower the better? So we have two levels. So one thing is that we can know the trend. The other thing is to know whether changing packing time will actually have effect on the total displacement. So if we increase the number of levels, you see there are three values. And uh, if we click on three levels, level two is always the starting value. So uh, for our initial run, the starting condition is five seconds. So we choose plus or minus 0.25 seconds as the other packing time. So after selecting the number of factors, then we can click Next. 
Because right now we just cho chose three factors. So there are F1, F2, and F3. And for each round, we have round one to round four. And here, one means lower value, and two means higher value, which means for each factor, for the round one, factor one, two, three is always at the lower value. And we are using Takuchi method, using orthogonal array to determine number of experiments that needs to be run. So here, you can choose the uh, uh, how many rounds you like to conduct. So here, the number of rounds to be analyzed by choosing this uh, method called L4 is four rounds. So we can click on next. So in summary, uh, it will tell us what's your quality factor and uh, what's its characteristic. We want it to be the smaller, the better. And if we, if we click finish, the program will calculate how many rounds, and these rounds are ranging from 22 to 24. And it will also give us the optimized round at round 26. So if we further wants to run this analysis, we just click here, analysis DOE. And then to examine the results of a DOE analysis, we can go to a optimized round. For example, here we go to round 11. Here is an optimized round result. And we can click on this DOE. And it will show us the DOE analysis results. So here is the input. What are their, our inputs? So we choose the total thermal displacement to be the smaller, the better, and what levels we are choosing, and how many, uh, what are the control factors that we've used. So we choose three level for this case and four controlling factors. So uh, because we run nine rounds, so here's the results of all of them. So here, the optimized uh, quality factor is showing over here, which is uh, asterisk mark. So uh, it's 0.116 is the, uh, the minimum number of all this array. And also, when this round, all the uh, quality factor values that we, uh, the, uh, after DOE analysis, these values are determined. Then we can take a look at the quality response. Quality response will tell us which factor is more important compared to others. So here we see the D factor has no effect on the overall response, but the B factor has a, a very close relationship to the response, and we can find this positive trend over here. Except for using quality response, some people can also choose using signal-to-noise ratio response, which will take vari variation into consideration. And also we can check on the final response curves and take a look at the optimized design values. And also, we can show it on the three-dimensional chart to see how does the different uh, controlling factors has the overall effect on the response. Say here, we can see the uh, by change the filling time or the uh, uh, melt temperature, what are the effect to the uh, final total thermal displacement. 